Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He liked to sit just quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favourite spot in the pasture under the cork tree. And he would sit in its shade all day. And smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head, she would say. but Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here where I can sit quietly and smell the flowers. And because his mother was understanding, even though she was a cow, she let him sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. but not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. All the other bulls ran around snorting and butting, leaping and jumping, so the men would think that they were very, very, very strong and fierce and pick them. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him and he didn't care. So he went out to his favourite cork tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting. 
And instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? Whoa, did that hurt. Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran round puffing and snorting, butting and pouring the ground as if he were mad. The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all, just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. What a day it was. Flags were flying. Bands were playing. And all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. They had a parade into the bull ring. First came the banderillos. Next came the picadors. Next came the matador, the proudest of all. Then came the bull, and you know who that was, don't you? Ferdinand went to the middle of the bull ring. And everyone thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. But not Ferdinand. When he saw the flowers in all the lovely lady's hair, he just sat down and smelled. He wouldn't fight no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled. And the banderillos were angry. And the picadors were angrier. And the matador was so angry because he couldn't show off, he cried. So they had to take Ferdinand home. And he is sitting there still under his favourite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. He is very happy.